What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at something a little different and it is the Storm Collectibles Minoru Suzuki. So let's get right on into it. Alright, so this is like my third Storm Collectibles figure ever. I have the Tekken King and I had the Hollywood Hulk Hogan back in the day. But I haven't really messed with them because they're just completely different from elites and Jazzware figures and all that stuff. But we will get into the accessories and then we will take a look at the figure itself. So for the hands, he comes with two fisted hands and I'm only gonna pull out the left hands, but he does have the corresponding right hands. It's like this, I'm gonna call it the Dan Housen curse hands. He has these like grabbing hands, which are, it's gonna be interesting to use those for shots. He has this relaxed hand that like goes down by his side. I guess you could use it as. He has a chopping hand and he has a pointing hand. And the cool thing about Storm Collectibles figures is that they are a different kind of material. So like you can actually bend it like that and you don't feel like you're gonna break it. Especially with stuff like the relaxed hand, you can actually just move all the fingers around so that's pretty cool for posability. He also comes with his towel that he wears over his head. I have not taken it out of the bag yet, but it does sit very well. Storm Collectibles soft goods are very, very well for, you know, just sitting well on the figure. And one of the cooler accessories that he actually comes with is this alternate head scan, which has the tongue sticking out of it. Also like the hair detail, because what is Suzuki's haircut these days? But the tongue is sticking out and I figured this out while I was opening the box yesterday and I didn't know it any other way. The tongue is actually removable and then it just has kind of like a yelling head sculpt. So that's pretty freaking weird. Like imagine all the possibilities of things that you can use that for. But it is time to get into the figure itself. So. I suggest using some shock oil to loosen up the joints, but I don't know how it will work with the soft rubber. But you have very good range of motion, but you're gonna hear that squeaking just because of the material that they use the figures, they use to make the figures out of. The, this is a soft, soft material. I don't know if you can see like pressing on it. Very soft, not a very good ab crunch, but the frustrating things about these is the fact that they're just they're really really squeaky but great range of motion on the arms great range of motion with the legs as far as kicking backwards it has a toe joint so you can maneuver that how you please but it also has difficulty in the thigh area that is about as far as he can kick, which is impressive, but it messes up the crotch piece. And I don't know how, like, look at that. Susceptible they are to paint rub, as you see is already starting to happen right here. That is my one issue with Storm, is their articulation is very, very weird. Also, people complain about the way that the elbow joint looks. It's not a very appealing joint. The, I mean, the this isn't as bad, but mainly the inner arm look. But let's go ahead and do one quick size comparison so you guys can see how it stacks up. And this is actually against my custom Okada, and it's an elite body, so. You can see how these stack up. I think the storm scale is just a little too high, but I'm sure you can make it work with shots. Also, the hands on the storm figures are gigantic. But that is going to be it for today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and last but not least, take it easy. Thanks. Thanks. 